يوصلوا الى باحه الوزاره منهم ملتزم بالوقوف خارجا للتعبير عن غضبه ومنهم دخل so again this is actually a pretty peaceful gathering here at this particular ministry what uh, what they did is they came in it was already destroyed by the explosion but they they came in and they basically noticed that the whole ministry is empty there's no one in it except for a couple of policemen and every single office and room had their lights turned on and the AC turned on in a country where they, the average person, if they're lucky, gets four hours of electricity per day. They're, and this has been going on for, for what, years now? So it's basically a, the haves and the have-nots, an empty building, a huge empty building, powered basically 24-7, whether there's people in it or not. All the lights are on, all the ACs are turned on, and the average Lebanese can't even use a fridge. How do, you, how do you put food in your fridge if you only get four hours of electricity per day? So this is, this is really peaceful here. Basically, they're, they're letting the people walk in and take a look around. I guess this is evidence. You can see it with your own eyes. And it looks like they're preventing them from going upstairs. Oh no, there's people walking around upstairs. This is the truck burning. Going to Martyr Square again. There we go. Look at that. Oh, she doesn't, she doesn't have, she's not prepared. I mean, guys, this is the second or third time you've done this. Like, if you're going to switch to someone, let them know beforehand. Hey, listen, we're going to put you live on air in like a minute. And make sure they're ready before you switch to them. You won't get that particular situation. And here, there you go again. Saifi village is saying that the bombs are, well, the tear gas is reaching here. This is not too far from from the Martyr Square. Tear gas canisters. The, the destruction is amazing not like not in a good way I don't mean amazing in a good way I'm just so this is in Jamezi, next to the Jamezi area, which is actually the area that was pretty much hardest hit by the explosion. And there's this is a Christian neighborhood, if I remember correctly. Actually, I don't need to remember, it is a Christian neighborhood. Nice gas mask, man. That the people are, are moving away. It's saying that the, the the canisters of tear gas are coming down like rain upon the protesters. This is the same guy from before that was like really amazed by the amount of tear gas the army was throwing at them. Like he, he was going on on and on about it. Excessive amounts of tear gas. I don't know if what the what the 
what the line is between like normal tear gas use and excessive tear, ga tear gas use, if there is such a line. Uh, so the, the stream is stuttering a bit. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, he's like, why do you think the army is so forceful in stopping the the protesters? And he's like, well, I think they want to stop the protests. So this is uh, this is cutting rate journalism. So this this police state has the money to pay for the weapons to this is a message to all the Lebanese still in their homes. We are sitting in here and we are not leaving. He's pretty angry. So we were seeing in the on the right side there. There's a lot of stuff happening here. See the police in the top right and look at those people. So we're still waiting for that lady at the bottom left to get her shit together. So something is going on in the top right. They're trying to break into an office, it looks like. They're trying to kick a door down. This guy is a little upset. Yeah, he's definitely very upset. He looks like he's been tear gassed. Uh, I guess they couldn't break through that door. And that's the police. I'm guessing the police is like, hey, guys, fuck off. Yeah, look. <laughs> so it's a little bit damaged, but... So they have these these ministry buildings that are absolutely empty and have electricity and have water and have air conditioning. Why don't they turn some parts of these buildings into like barracks or shelters for the Lebanese people? I mean the capabilities there. It, like if you cared about the people, that would be something that someone thinks about. Am I wrong? I mean, is this like a strange thought? Am I just like a deviant for thinking that, hey, you know, 300,000 people are homeless. Perhaps we can, you know, these these pretty expensive marble and gold buildings. This is, that's all marble, by the way. Holy shit, that is fucking marble. This building is like, like each wall, each wall section of wall probably costs more than someone makes in a year. Wow. So it looks messed up and destroyed and stuff, but when you think about it, if your house has no walls left, this would be a pretty nice place to sleep, right? Just put a futon down, a sleeping bag or something. It's air-conditioned, it's got electricity. I'm betting the, there's water in the toilets. 
شو بدي لك هلكونا يا زلمه هن شعانين اكثر مننا شو بدك تعمل والله ما فعلين and the, this, the conversation that's going on here is people saying that we're not leaving. We're not leaving. So it looks like in the upper right corner that people are trying to get into that particular office and the, the police is trying to de-escalate. De What's that guy doing in the back to the door? So there, there were people trying to kick down that door a little bit earlier. Uh, she's, she's good to go now. Oh boy. The hot point moved from the hard newspaper building. She's, she's trying to asking, can you see them? Because we're not going to get any closer. Listen to the people hitting the metal on the bridge. People are pounding on the bridge is what she's saying. It's wondering if the sound is reaching the camera. So this distance between the police and the protesters. So these those are the pro protesters over there, I think, is what she's saying. Maybe? Or am I the wrong way around? So someone saying that there's no choice except for an armed revolution. Uh, and then he's asking, is there like a specific? And he's like, no, kidlun and no kidlun. Everyone means everyone. These guys are going to leave. They're going to be removed, is what he's saying. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, I'm interpreting, I'm not going to do a direct word for word translation. I'm, it's not my thing. Besides, I'm, I'm really bad at Arabic. I'm just <laughs> struggling to barely pick out what they're saying. So this, yeah, she's saying there's a lot of anger. Yeah, there's anger because of this, anger because of that. I'm not, I'm not trying to diminish it. I'm just, you can imagine what she's saying. So in, in the upper right, they, there's a, there's a, there's a big gathering in front of this particular office, and it's. Just wondering what the focus of that is. Why are people so fixated on that particular office? Is there is it someone particular's office? Is there something in that office? Uh, it's a little bit of pushing going on. People were trying to kick that door down before. It seems to be pretty solid. It's probably a some kind of reinforced door to something important. Just turn down her volume a little bit because it's she's not really saying that much except repeating. Oh, just the more pushing and shoving up nearby the office door. In the upper left, apparently some more people are ranting, but we can't hear it. Sorry. But yeah, it sounded, it looked like it was profound. Oh, oh, oh boy. Lots of pushing. There's, there's going to be a fight there. It looks like there's one or two police officers right at the door. There's actually more. There's like three or four. So uh, again, I'm, I'm really wondering what's behind that door. Whose office is that?
So just, uh, I can't read Arabic, so whatever is written there, I have absolutely no idea. I can... Oh, slingshot. That was some, that was pretty nice slingshot technique. That guy's got some practice using that. Hey, that's not an amateur. That is a professional slingshot user. I wonder when he had the chance to, you know, practice so much to get that good. So we're, I'm not sure which direction she's heading. Is this the police? I'm guessing because of the flashing blue lights that she's heading towards the police blockade. That was a shot of something. Someone just shot straight into the air. There you go. You see that? Those are Those are bullets. Or are those the uh, the tear gas canisters? They're just shooting them as ballistic, like parabolic shots, causing them to rain down. Look at that. Great form. Great form. Excellent. <laughs> Look at that smug walk back. This guy's a pro, man. This guy is an absolute unit. That that is probably just pure adre adrenaline. And he's photogenic as well. Thank you. Great. So she was talking about earlier when they were in the Martyrs Square and when they had set up uh, gallows. Saying that there was pictures of uh, different leaders and saying that today is the day of reckoning. So the, this is the receipt. So it, it's literally asking for the receipt. So talking about how, again, just talking about what the protesters are saying and feeling, just reporting on that and how it is basically the Lebanese people want to build something. What is going on in the bottom right? Those those soldiers in the bottom right, those are actually commandos. So it's quite a bit of pushing and shoving back down there. Did they just take off a wall panel? They're, they're not letting them through the door, so they're going to try going through the wall in the upper right-hand corner. If you can see that, there's the wall is damaged. Is that a wall or a window? It's just a lot of stuff happening in a lot of different windows at the same time. So the middle, the bottom middle is the foreign ministry, or did they allow them to get back into the foreign ministry? So not too long ago, the army had kicked these guys out, these guys out of this area, the foreign ministry, but it looks like, I'm not sure if this is a repeat video of before or they're actually back there. Oh, is it, they picked up the plant. They picked up the plant. Look at that. They picked it up. Oh, shit. They, they're not letting them go through the door, so they're going to go through the window one way or another. So that, that's just paper. There's nothing there. 
Like, okay, there's nothing there to stop him just from going through the window. The door is open. There we go. They've gone through the door. What's going on? What's going on? And the police is like, ah, oh, shit. This is going to check my task manager to see why is it so jumpy. All right, I have enough RAM. I'm not sure why it's stuttering like that. I am sorry. They're, they're chanting Thawra. This is the nice big office, actually. Look at that. It's the, off, the, the minister's office. Nice office. Nice office. I mean, it pays to be a minister. Look at that. I don't know what Taka is. The Ministry of Taka. I don't know what what that is. They're taking the Lebanese flags from the ministry. They're they're literally taking the flags out of the ministry. <laughs> like this 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 is the Lebanese flag. Oh boy. Pictures of the ministers. Everyone means everyone. Yeah, they're they're tearing up pictures. Destroying, not deterring. Destroy. Saying we haven't seen any reaction from the security forces. There's a picture of the president, I think. It's not, it's a bit blurry on my end. Oh, look. Is that paint? Does she paint it? I guess that's paint. But people are expressing their anger in the most, and the easiest way to do it. We are honest, we're not going to burn it. But we're going to stop them from entering. They killed us. The responsibles are in the government. <laughs> I recommend they don't, uh, speaking about the government, I, I recommend they don't come down into the streets and let us see them. They're, they're taking a look, they, they took the Lebanese flags out of the ministry. That is absolutely, they basically, they, they've been trying to get into this office for the past, what, half hour or something? They finally realized that there's actually no windows. The windows are just papered over and they just went into the office of the minister and destroyed the pictures and took the Lebanese flags out and left. They haven't destroyed or burnt anything. I mean, it's it's it really depends on where you look. I mean, in some areas, the the um, I think it's the exchange. They tried to set it on fire. I'm not I'm not exactly sure what that building is. How it the word, its name translates into English. <laughs> 